we all struggle with our culture versus what the religious tradition says we should do. Yeah. And it's no different here. Mm -hmm. um, here we add the ancestor piece on. But so, I mean, you can look at it every, you can read this and then read it in context of everybody's own struggle to try whatever tradition you're in. The society which tells us one thing, religious tells us another. And here his is stuck right in the middle. Yeah. And you know, so where do you, how do you go? Yeah. It's yeah. a tough journey for everybody. Yeah. And then, I mean, and, and along those lines, if you get students to those points, like along those lines, the next question could be, so is there something that about, the Islamic tradition having have to deal with this stuff, particularly in West Africa, where this has been a more pronounced issue, particularly in the 19th, 18th, since the 18th century. You know, is there something specific that's going on here that could tell us something about the humanistic problem that's distinctive, or, or if not distinctive, that's you know, something that we could learn from their experiences, rather than saying, again, Muslims fit into the paradigms we already developed. What can we, you know, how, how do we think about our paradigms? We think of paradigms based on what they, they tell us. Yeah. Well, um, we were studying the hadith yesterday, and it says if you don't have anything good to say, you know, stay silent or something, and then if you're, you know, the speech turns into good or evil. So um, I can see that um, the hadith, it's, it's, um, um, not quoted, but you know, uh, being related um, in the text. Yeah, and and uh, I mean, the other this is the other issue of that that part, right? So, if he speaks up, he could cause good and evil, right? If he speaks against it, he could cause good and evil. If he speaks for it, he could cause good and evil, right? By staying silent, he's sort of avoiding. Yeah, that the that you know, the the uh, part of the solution is that. You, know, you could, and the hadith, the hadith, one of the hadiths, I don't know if this isn't the one you're talking about, but there's a hadith that says, you know, if you see wrongdoing, first act against it. If you can't act against it, then, then speak against it. If you can't speak against it, then, um, you know, d deny it in your own heart um, to be able to not cause problem, not cause conflict or, or tension in, in society. 